Are you guys ready to see the largest Funko Pop collection that we have picked up here in 2022? Here we go. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So today we have another different style video for you guys and some different content for the channel. So I put out some feelers out there to some of you guys last week and we got a lot of positive feedback. So today we are officially dropping our first collection haul video here in 2022. We got very lucky and we picked up a killer collection this past weekend and uh, it's valued just over $6,000. So without further ado guys, we hope you enjoy the video and we'll see you guys back here in just a few seconds. Okay guys, so it is Friday night. We just drove a long ways from Boston down to New Jersey. We're here for the weekend anyway, and we're gonna go pick up this massive collection. So we're actually taking two cars, cause it's gonna be that big. Uh, we have my entire Jeep all emptied out, and we, got, we are very prepared, which is not usually the case. Uh, we got buckets ready to go. We got protectors on standby in case the, some of the pops need it. I have a feeling some of them are definitely gonna need protectors, so. Hopefully we this all even, fits. We haven't even picked it up and I'm already exhausted. <laughs> it's been a long day, but um, anyway, here we go. All right, guys, so it looks like we're about to tell some ghost stories, but uh, we just picked up the collection. It is massive and somehow it all fits in the Jeep. So um, shout out to Jeeps, 300 <laughs> pops, and we actually still have room for some more. So we'll see you guys back in the studio in just a second so you can see exactly what is in this amazing collection. All right, so that was myself and Joanna picking up the collection. So now we're gonna show you guys all the goodies and all the amazing pops that are in this awesome collection. And uh, I figured to keep it easy and to keep it flowing, we're gonna do it a little bit like a hunt video, although all these pops are pops that we actually own instead of pops just being on a shelf in a store or something like that. So we got 10 buckets that I'm gonna try to get through as quickly as possible so you guys can see everything and some of which that you guys can potentially own as soon as tonight and we'll get into those details later. All right guys, here we go. Here is bucket number one. Starting off with the Hot Topic black and white Superman. We have Cyclops from the original X-Men wave. We have Stingray. Oliver Queen from the Arrow Show, Nightmare Batman, then we have Kitty Pride with the New York Comic Con 2016 con sticker, we have the X-Force Deadpool, and then Ultron from Avengers Age of Ultron. Coming up here, we have a really cool one that's been picking up some value lately. This is the Walgreens exclusive Venom, Earth 2 Batman, then we have the yellow thumbs up Deadpool, which was an Amazon exclusive. This is the original Hulk from the Marvel Universe line. Then we have Angry Groot from Guardians of the Galaxy, Harley Quinn from Batman Arkham Knight. And then we have a big one that I know a lot of people are looking for. This one has spiked in value, of course, because of Doctor Strange into the Multiverse of Madness. We have Professor X in his golden chair. Then we have Arkham Knight from Batman Arkham Knight. Then we have Masked Deadshot from the first Suicide Squad movie. Harley Quinn, Black and White Flash. Here is Black Widow from Age of Ultron. Black and White Joker. Here is the blue thumbs up Deadpool. Then we have, this is the regular Masked Arrow. And then we have Deathstroke from Arrow as well. Coming up here we have Madcap. Squirrel Girl, which I think is an awesome pickup right now. Hawkeye from Avengers Age of Ultron. Yondu from Guardians of the Galaxy. And then we have Rocket with Groot from Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. And here's another one I know a lot of people have been looking for lately. This is the Blue Stealth Iron Man, which is actually a really cool pop. Then we have War Machine from Captain America Civil War. And then rounding out box one, guys, we have Dr. Octopus. So moving into bucket number two, we have another Marvel heavy box and uh, there's a lot of great stuff in here. Starting out with the original Spider-Man. Up next we have the Walgreens exclusive Iron Spider, which is one that I think is still super undervalued and very cool. 
Next to that, we have the Hot Topic Slapstick, which is a variant of Deadpool. Then we have Deadpool holding the rubber chicken, which is also a Walgreens exclusive. Up next after that, we have the Colossus from the original X-Men wave. Then we have the original Ant-Man pop, as well as Iron Man Mark 43. And then one of my all-time personal Marvel favorites, we have the Marvel Collector Core exclusive Hulkbuster, which we saw in Avengers Age of Ultron. Coming up here, we have another great one with the Captain America Civil War four pack. You get two pocket pops, Hawkeye, and the really cool Spider-Man holding Captain America shield. Up next, we have the PX Previews Gray Unmasked Deadpool, Captain America from Civil War. Then we have the Hot Topic exclusive Black and Red Spider-Man, right next to one that's actually been spiking in value, and we had no idea. This is the Walgreens exclusive Scarlet Spider. Super cool pop. We also have the Pirate Deadpool, the original Silver Surfer, and then another one that's been going up and uh, makes a lot of sense because we do have another Ant-Man movie in the works. This is the Marvel Collector Core exclusive Ant-Man where you actually get the tiny one in the box as well. So great little bonus pop right there. Uh, on top of Ant-Man, we have the Action Pose Marvel Collector Core Spider-Man. Then we have from Civil War, the Unmasked Iron Man. Right next to the very cute Hot Topic exclusive Dancing Groot from Guardians of the Galaxy. Next to a big one from the Daredevil line, we have Kingpin himself, Wilson Fisk. And then next to Wilson Fisk, we have the original Gamora holding the sword from Guardians of the Galaxy, the first movie. Then we have the Hot Topic exclusive Anti-Venom the blue X-Men Deadpool, and then rounding out box two, we have the original Star-Lord from Guardians of the Galaxy. So another awesome box full of some really cool, some really old Marvel stuff from all 2014 to 2016. So if you're a Marvel fan, we got a lot of cool stuff for tonight. So now moving into bucket number three, we have a little bit of a mixture of some cool lines and some stuff that we have personally never seen before in person. Starting out with the six inch Songbird from Bioshock. We also have Cedric from Harry Potter. We have Little Sister, which looks pretty creepy looking from Bioshock. We have Katniss Everdeen in her wedding dress. And this one actually has the red exclusive pre-release sticker from The Hunger Games. We have Arno and then Connor from Assassin's Creed, which are pretty cool looking pops. Then we have Elizabeth from Bioshock, as well as Sirius Black. Coming up to the next row, we have Ted from Ted 2, and this one he's actually holding the TV remote. Um, I don't think I ever saw Ted 2. Ted 1 was pretty good, though. We have I, Matey, which is the pirate version of one of the minions. Then we have a big one. Uh, I had no idea this one was so expensive these days. So this is the um, pre-release Storm Shadow exclusive from G.I. Joe, which is pretty cool. We have the original Snake Eyes from G.I. Joe, as well as the White Storm Shadow from G.I. Joe as well. And we also have Cobra Commander. So a lot of great G.I. Joe pops right there. We also have Harry Potter and then the metallic Batman vs. Superman 2-pack, which was a Toys R Us exclusive. And then coming up here, we actually have a 2-pack that I have never seen in person before. Uh, from Saturday Night Live, we have one of the Lonely Island skits. And this one is actually pretty valuable. I had no idea. So it's a cool 2-pack for anybody who's a Saturday Night Live fan. We also have Hermione Granger from Harry Potter. The Dementor, Dobby, and He Who Shall Not Be Named from Harry Potter. We have some more gaming pops with Brutus from Call of Duty, Claptrap from Borderlands. We also have Effie Trinket from The Hunger Games. Coming up here, we have Booker DeWitt from Bioshock, Psycho from Borderlands, Altier from Assassin's Creed. We have one that is super cool, Snoopy in Woodstock. I think that's just an amazing pop right there from the Peanuts line, as well as Sally Brown. Then we have George Mendez from Orange is the New Black. And rounding out this box, we have Victor Cruz from the Giants. 
All right, so now moving into bucket number four, we have another great mixture. A little bit of Marvel, a little bit of DC, and uh, some other cool ones that we have not seen, at least in a while. So we have Evie Fry from Assassin's Creed, the Superman Soldier from the Batman vs. Superman movie. Then we have the Domo Ghostbuster, which we have actually not seen in a while, which is pretty cool. Uh, we also have Seth from Superbad, which we've never had in person before. We have the original Groot from Guardians of the Galaxy, as well as the original Rocket Raccoon. Then we have Agent 13, Sharon Carter from Civil War, as well as the Walgreens exclusive Green Goblin, followed up by the shared SCC exclusive. Uh, this is Deadpool with the unicorn and the cowboy hat. We also have Daniel LaRusso from The Karate Kid, and that one's been going up a little bit. We also have Commander Shepard from Mass Effect, which I don't know anything about, but it's a cool pop. We also have Killer Croc from Batman Arkham Asylum, and then Diablo from the first Suicide Squad movie, followed up by the new 52 Superman, which is a PX Previews exclusive. Followed up by Super Mutant from the game Fallout. And then we have a big one, guys. Robocop. This is the original one. And uh, this one has some value to it. Pretty cool pop. We have the Hula Minion from Despicable Me. Followed up by Odell Beckham Jr. from the Giants. It's kind of funny. There's a few football players sprinkled in this collection. We also have the Mirror Universe Spock from Star Trek, which is a PX Previews exclusive. Then we have Elise from Assassin's Creed, Michael Myers from Halloween, of course. And then we have the High Elf from the Elder Scrolls. And then we have a few really cool Sesame Street pops. Sesame Street pops seem to definitely be going up in value these days. And uh, I love just the green boxes. We have Oscar the Grouch. This is the yellow version, which is an Entertainment Earth exclusive, followed up by Super Grover, which is super cute. Then we have Ernie holding the rubber ducky, as well as Bert. So all great ones right there. And then, of course, we have Agent May from Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., which I bought recently, but that's how it goes sometimes. Then we have the Marvel Collector Core Translucent Doctor Strange, Thor from Avengers Age of Ultron, the uh, White Suit Storm. Followed up, we have some Gotham Pops with Fish Mooney, Harvey Bullock, Bruce Wayne, and then Selena Kyle. And the last two that we have, guys, we have the original Punisher. And in case you guys didn't hear, Marvel actually discontinued and will no longer be using that Punisher logo. So I have a feeling the old school Punisher pops are going to be going up in value just a little bit. And then, of course, we have the man of the hour, per se, the one that everybody's talking about, Doctor Strange. And this one in particular would actually go really well with the new soda that's coming out. So for the next box, this perhaps has some of the coolest pops from the collection. We have a mixture of mostly Marvel and Star Wars. And just like all of them, guys, we'll start right here at the bottom. We have the First Order Flame Trooper, followed up by Need Nub. Then we have the First Order Snow Trooper, the Star Wars Smuggler's Bounty exclusive IG-88. Then we have the GameStop exclusive Need Nub, where he's actually wearing his X-Wing fighter pilot helmet there. We have Captain Phasma. Then we have a really cool one here with Kylo Ren, Finn, and then Sidon right here. Now, coming up to these two, I'm really torn. Uh, I used to have these in my collection, and I sold them a few years back. And uh, I'm actually thinking about keeping these two because I really love the old school Transformers pops. I love the Transformers movies. And uh, right here, we actually have the Walmart exclusive Bumblebee where he's got the cannon, as well as the Hot Topic exclusive Optimus Prime with the flame sword, if you guys can see that in there. So I really like those two. I'm kind of torn, not sure yet. All right, so we also have Black Panther. So in case you guys have never been to one of our auctions before, we never sell Black Panther pops for profit. Every time we get in a Black Panther pop um, to, uh, to honor Chadwick Boseman's memory and uh, just losing him way too early in life, um, every single time we sell or auction off a Black Panther pop, we do it for whatever charity of the month. So this pop will actually be going up tonight 
and uh, all the proceeds from him will be going to support this month's charity, which if you guys didn't know is Autism Speaks. So just a little tidbit about Black Panther and what we like to do here on the channel and with our auctions. So up next, we have a awesome Christmas one with Buddy the Elf. Then we have the TIE Fighter Pilot. Love that one. Varmic. Then we have Poe Dameron. Then Han Solo. And then another personal favorite of mine. This is the Walgreens exclusive First Order Riot Stormtrooper. All right. Then coming up here, guys, this is where it gets really interesting. We have the Spider Gwen Unmasked, which is a Walgreens exclusive, which is one I don't think you guys should sleep on. And then here we go, guys. From the Daredevil line, we have the Masked Vigilante, followed up by Daredevil in his red and black suit. And then we have the Hot Topic exclusive Daredevil, where he's in his classic suit. And then check this one out, guys. We actually got in Matt Murdock, which is the one that a lot of people have been looking for. Um, I want to be transparent with everybody. There is actually a really good friend of mine. And if you're watching this video, you know who you are. Um, but I'm going to hook you up with this pop because you looked out for me. And uh, I'm going to return the favor. And we're going to talk more about that later at the end of the video. But I just wanted you to know, if you're watching, that that one is going to be going to your collection. We also have Frankenstein from the OG Monsters line. We have Regina from Once Upon a Time. Then we have Freddy Krueger from A Nightmare on Elm Street. And then Jason Voorhees from Friday the 13th. All right, and then coming up to the top row here, we have another really cool two-pack, which I feel like nobody is talking about right now. This is Bullseye and Daredevil, and Daredevil's actually in his black and red suit, and he's in a nice little action pose. This was a Marvel Collector Core exclusive, and I feel like that one is very undervalued. We have the Glow in the Dark Spider-Man Black and Green Stealth Suit Edition. Then we have the yellow and red Target exclusive Daredevil. And I think that he's going to be actually showing up in the MCU in that suit. Just a hunch, but from everything I've read, I feel like that's where they're going. Then we have the Nemesis Punisher, Scarlet Witch from Captain America Civil War, She-Hulk. All the She-Hulks have been going up lately. We have the Thunderbolts Punisher, as well as the Hot Topic exclusive Black Suit Storm. Up next, we have another great bucket, and uh, we actually got in a really nice amount of DC Pops. So we'll be showing off some of the cool ones that we got in this lot right here, starting off with Batman. This is the Ben Affleck version from the Batman vs. Superman movie. Then we have a bunch of the uh, New 52 uh, DC Pops, starting with the Batman, and these are all PX Previews exclusives. Then we have The Flash. Followed up by Green Lantern, the Hal Jordan version. And then we have the unmasked Hot Topic exclusive Deathstroke from the Arrow show. Followed up by Roadblock from G.I. Joe. The Harley Quinn in Popster. The Luke Crate exclusive Doc Emmett Brown from Back to the Future. And then we have Short Fuse from the Penguins of Madagascar. Then coming up here, we have some really cool classic batman pops here from the original tv series back in the 60s we have batman then this is the glitter edition catwoman and then the caesar romero joker which are all really cool we also have robin kicking around here somewhere and then uh up next we have jacob fry from assassin's creed which might be a double we also have killer croc from suicide squad master sergeant frank woods from call of duty slimer from the ghostbusters the pink Harley Quinn from Hot Topic. We also have the PX Previews Glow in the Dark Harley Quinn in her classic outfit there. And we have Reverse Flash from the Flash TV show. We have Super Brains, which was a Target exclusive. And it's from Plants vs. Zombies, which is pretty cool. Never, ever seen that one. Didn't know that line existed. We also have Aquaman from the Batman vs. Superman movie. Scarecrow from Batman Arkham Knight. Then we have Handsome Jack from Borderlands. And then we have Sackboy from Little Big Planet. It is some kind of PlayStation game. And uh, never heard of it, but that pop surprisingly has some value. Uh, we also have Feral Ghoul from Fallout. We have the DC Comics Legion of Collectors classic comic book Catwoman here, which is pretty cool. 
Then they have James Gordon flashing his badge from the Gotham series. Then we have Captain America from Avengers Age of Ultron. Plastic Man, which surprisingly has been going up in value and would look great next to the new soda that came out recently. Then we have Robin, there he is, from the classic Batman TV series, followed up by the DC Legion of Collectors exclusive Hawkgirl, PX Previews exclusive Deathstroke. This is the Harley Quinn, which is a Hot Topic exclusive, followed up by another great Hot Topic exclusive. This is the Pink Joker covered in kisses. Then we have the Venomized Glow-in-the-Dark Human Torch from GameStop which was in one of the Black Friday boxes. And then last, but certainly not least for this lot, we have the Walgreens exclusive Unmasked Gwenpool. So now for the next little lot here, this is pretty much just Marvel and DC. And once again, we got a lot of really cool ones. Starting off with the Tuxedo Jared Leto version of the Joker from the first Suicide Squad movie. Then we have Black Canary from the Arrow TV show. Then we have the black and white Hot Topic exclusive Joker, followed up by the black and white Hot Topic exclusive Superman, the Penguin Impopster, followed up by the Two-Face Impopster, and then we have the Black Lantern Reverse Flash, followed up by Captain Cold and Crossbones from Captain America Civil War. Up here we have Batman from Batman Arkham Asylum. And then right here, guys, check it out. We have two really cool ones. This is the Christian Bale version of Batman from the Dark Knight trilogy. And that one has actually been gaining a little bit of value, which is really cool to see. Followed up by the Heath Ledger version of the Joker, also from uh, Christopher Nolan's Dark Knight trilogy. Best Joker, hands down. Uh, right next to him, ironically, we have another Jared Leto version of the Joker from Suicide Squad. Then we have a Hot Topic exclusive Batman. This is the blue version from Arkham Asylum, followed up by the Arkham Asylum version of the Joker, as well as Harley Quinn. Then we have Katana, really cool pop, with her sword from the Suicide Squad. Then we have Ronin the Accuser from Guardians of the Galaxy. Love his weapon, really unique. We also have the original Captain America, first Captain America pop they ever made, number six right there. Then we have the Scarecrow and Popster, Wonder Woman from Batman vs. Superman, the black GameStop exclusive Batgirl, black and white Hot Top exclusive Harley Quinn, Riddler and Popster, followed up by the Poison Ivy and Popster. I'm pretty sure we have every single one of those from the Impopster wave. Then we have the original Flash from the Flash TV show as well as the comic book version of Iron Man. Up here we have The Collector from the first Guardians of the Galaxy movie, followed up by the original Drax. So these are some old pops for sure. And then right next to him, we actually have, this is the very first, in case you guys didn't know, first Miles Morales Funko Pop they ever made is a Marvel Collector Core exclusive. It was actually from the same box as the Secret Wars Jane Foster Thor. And the funny thing about this is it says Miles Morales, but it's in super tiny writing. So I think a lot of people overlook this one, thinking that it's just another variant of Spider-Man when it's actually Miles Morales. Uh, up next, we have Mystique from the original uh, X-Men wave. Then we have the X-Force Hot Topic exclusive Wolverine, which is why he's in his black and gray outfit right there. Then we have the Hot Topic exclusive Carnage. Hulk from Avengers Age of Ultron, where he's starting to get angry. Then we have the action pose Captain America from Civil War, which was a GameStop exclusive. And then followed up with this one, guys, we have Iron Man from Captain America Civil War as well. So believe it or not, guys, this is actually the last little bit of the collection here from our massive haul. So we're going to kick this off with the six inch Hagrid from Harry Potter followed up by Dave and Agnes from Despicable Me 2. We also have Booker DeWitt. Now this one, he actually has the sky hook in his hand from Bioshock, followed up by the Mad Hatter from Disney's Alice in Wonderland, the live action version. Then we have Linus with his trusty blankie from Peanuts, followed up by Ron Weasley from Harry Potter, Bored Silly Kevin from the Minions movie. We also have Dr. Facilier, 
from um, Disney, as well as the Glow in the Dark FYE exclusive All Natural. I bet you the glow on him is pretty good. We have Galena from Orange is the New Black, followed up by Sally from the OG Disney Wave. We also have Evan from Super Bad, followed up by Solo, which is another Deadpool variant. As you can see, he is in green. Then we have Nightshade Sally, and she's super cute. She has the cap and or the cat, excuse me. And uh, this is actually the only one that Joanna is going to be keeping from this wave or from this whole collection for her personal collection. We also have the Batman vs. Superman Glow in the Dark Walmart 2 pack. The glow on these guys is absolutely insane. I can't wait to light these bad boys up. I love seeing their glow. And then on top of them, we have another great two pack with Captain America vs. Iron Man. This is the Marvel Collector Core exclusive where they're both in the action pose, which we actually saw Chris Evans and Robert Downey Jr. do as they were both fighting each other in the Civil War movie. If there's any pop that you guys want to get from the Captain America Civil War wave, this is the one you got to have. This just sums up the entire movie, and I love how they're just fighting each other inside of this two-pack. It's just one of my favorite Marvel two-packs of all time. All right, we also have King Bob from the Minions line. And some of these Minions pops, we were actually surprised on the value. So there must not be a lot of them circling, circulating around these days. We also have the Queen of Hearts from Alice in Wonderland, followed up by President Snow from The Hunger Games, as well as Louie. And Louie here actually has some decent value, which is pretty cool to see. We also have the Flocked Winnie the Pooh, which was a Hot Topic exclusive, followed up by the Disney Store logo Zero, and next to zero, we have Captain Marvel, the comic book version. And this is the uh, top uh, top line here, top row. We have Lucy from Peanuts, Captain John Price from Call of Duty. He's a GameStop exclusive. We have the Marvel Collector Core exclusive Leaping Deadpool. So many Deadpools. Uh, followed up by the Kamikaze exclusive Chrome Colossus, Ron Weasley, Katniss. This is the Girl on Fire version from The Hunger Games. And last but certainly not least, in our giant collection haul, guys, we have Nathan Drake from Uncharted 4. All right, everybody, so welcome back. I really hope you guys enjoyed seeing that massive collection haul. It is our biggest haul here in 2022. And uh, let me know down in the comment section below if you guys want to see more videos like this. Um, we usually don't take in collections this large. We do buy a lot of collections, as most of you guys don't know. And if you don't know, we are actually live on the WhatNot app every single Monday night at 7 p.m. Eastern. And uh, we're very upfront about how we do business and everything. And guys, pretty much all the money that we make off of our WhatNot auctions just goes right into um, you know helping us here on the channel do big and better things. Things. And Joanna and I were actually just sitting down last night and we're planning out our con season schedule for the year. And uh, there's actually some pretty cool comic cons that we're hoping to get to. So um, this collection is obviously going to help us fund that as well as giveaways. Um, a few of the pops we are going to be keeping. And then uh, like, like the Black Panther, a few of the pops we're going to be auctioning off for charity. And of course, we're going to be doing giveaways. So lots of different things. Every single item that comes in every single collection has value to us and can be put to a good cause. So I actually have two pieces of Monday motivation for you guys. So I usually bring you guys one bit of motivation. But today, since it's a special video, I'm bringing you guys two pieces of Monday motivation. So the first piece of Monday motivation has to do with that collection. So I would not have been able to grab that collection if it wasn't for the amazing person who actually reached out to us. So uh, the person that we grabbed this collection from was actually somebody that I've done business with, with before. Uh, I actually picked up a pop from him three years ago and uh, his wife reached out to me two weeks ago and said, hey, we're looking to sell the rest of our pops. Would you be interested in, in uh, grabbing them? And because we had such a pleasant interaction with them three years ago, they reached out to us because they were new. They knew that we were good, honest collectors and uh, we were able to grab the collection. So Guys, today's first part of Monday Motivation is be good to everybody you interact with in this community. Whether you're buying, selling, trading, or just talking amongst collectors, you never know when somebody's going to reach out to you and give you a great opportunity. So 
No matter who you are, no matter what you're doing, no matter you know which area of the community you are in when it comes to Funko, just be good to as many people as you possibly can because you never know what the future will hold. So, part two of today's Monday Motivation comes with this amazing Matt Murdock Daredevil pop. Now, I know a lot of people have been looking for this pop. As I mentioned briefly earlier in the video, um, I have a really good friend here in the community who hooked me up with a massive pop um, that you guys are going to see very shortly in a giant unboxing video, probably this week. So I'm going to be returning the favor and hooking him up with, I know this is the last Daredevil pop that he needs for his amazing Marvel collection. So for today's second part of our Monday motivation, guys, it's a lookout for others. Look out for others, and um, if you have the opportunity to help somebody else out with their collection or something else they're looking for, I mean, it is just the best feeling in the world, and I'm just on cloud nine right now that I'm able to help out this person grab one of the three pops remaining that he said he was looking for for his collection. He helped me out a few months ago grab a big one for my collection, and uh, it just feels so good to be able to return the favor. So that is it for today's Monday Motivation. I hope you guys enjoyed Enjoyed it. I'm living, breathing proof of everything that I'm trying to pass on and preach to you guys. So um, with that being said, guys, tonight we're going to be live 7 p.m. Eastern on Whatnot. Uh, if you guys want any of those pops, most of them are going to be up for grabs. And uh, we're looking forward to another fantastic night. So like I said, guys, drop it down in the comments section below if you would like to see more of these videos and uh, which pop was your favorite from today's collection haul. That's it, guys. Don't stop shooting until you score, and we'll see you all tonight.